Welcome back to Save My Planet. Combining sustainability with an event as big as a wedding can be a real challenge. On average, a single wedding in the U.S. produces about 500 pounds of trash. With more than 2 million of them a year, that adds up to a lot of waste. But there are plenty of options out there to help make your wedding as grand and memorable as possible while still keeping it sustainable. Hey, good How to see you. you. Come on in. Hey, Lisa. My name is Lisa Gordon. I'm a green wedding planner, and I help couples plan the most eco-friendly wedding that they possibly can. So you guys are uh, four and a half months out from your wedding, right? Yeah. The best thing I can do to help engage couples plan their green wedding is to give them information, to give them resources that they don't know about, and to help them just think outside of their usual thought patterns. It's about finding the way to do what you want to do in a way that makes sense, not just for you, but for everybody. And it's really, it's really cute, yeah. I really like that. The biggest contributor to the carbon footprint for a wedding is probably transportation. And that means not just your transportation around town, but your guests, your guests coming in from out of town. The second biggest thing is probably your location. That's right. Just think about all the energy that goes into lighting, heating, and cleaning a reception hall. But don't sweat it. There's plenty of event spaces out there that are keeping it green. Logan Square Kitchen is a building that was a vacant, blighted foreclosure in 2007, going to auction. Uh, my husband and I purchased it and joined the U.S. Green Building Council, renovated the building sustainably, and now we offer a beautiful private event space. We worked very hard to source materials and equipment from within 100 miles of our location, reducing our transportation footprint. That is something that people love just because they like to know that dollars are going to other small businesses in the local community and that dollars are being recycled in our local economy. Honor and keep him in sickness and in health. Wedding dresses are tricky. <laughs> There are so many that are made out of synthetic materials that will never break down in a million lifetimes. One way to make a wedding dress like that more sustainable is to make sure that it gets another use. White Chicago is a designer wedding consignment store. You can think of bridal consignment as a way to recycle, restyle, and recoup. So you're recycling because you're buying a dress that was otherwise in a warehouse or you know in someone's attic under a bed and then you can restyle it. You can really make it yours. We do a lot of different things. Add sleeves, take sleeves off, short and long, put different bustles in and then after the wedding you can sell it. Recoup some of the money and pass on the love and best of all recycle. Okay. We all know clothing can be recycled, but you can't serve your guests used food. So how do you cater an entire wedding and still be sustainable? If you want to have a low carbon footprint for the food you serve at your wedding, one way to do it is to have vegetarian food because meat contributes a lot of carbon to the atmosphere. I try to keep a whole list of vendors that I think do a good job on the eco front. There's a lot of reasons why our cakes are more green than the alternatives. In a traditional bakery, there's a lot of things that kind of go wrong. <laughs> um, the equipment that they use is not um, energy efficient. There's just not a lot of care put into what happens to the earth when you make this cake. The way that we bake, we use all organic ingredients um, as much as we possibly can. If it's not certified organic, it's from a local farmer that we trust has never used pesticides but has not certified himself. There is a thought put into every single ingredient that we use. Also, to the very end, your cake gets delivered in a hybrid. So from start to finish, it's every effort of care gets put into it. Very cool. And what about the flowers? Well, flowers are easy because they're like food. You want them to be organic. You want them to be local. I always encourage my clients to use seasonal and locally grown flowers. By choosing a wedding date when things are going to be in season, you'll be able to have 
more locally grown food for your guests to eat and locally grown flowers as well. They not only don't have to travel as far, but they're fresher too. Oftentimes they're cut that morning and uh, brought to market the same day. And it's often more affordable than imported product. That's even easier because you know where to get recycled paper. Well, Randy and Julia found me. The fact that they were interested in sustainability issues meant that we had a lot to talk about, and it was, it was really great to know that right off the bat. Weddings in general leave a, a huge carbon footprint, and so that's why it's important to us to try to have the greenest wedding we can. Going with a green wedding, I thought, well, we will have to compromise. We will have to do certain things, but it's been surprising because you can have the same quality of things that you're looking for and at the same time you can add special touches when you ask people for help. I feel like it's more um, intimate and unique. It's more us. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you can't solve the problem. Maybe you can't do it at every wedding but every little bit you can do chips away at the problem and really it's more about getting people thinking about it than anything else. You know, you can take a green approach to any occasion, not just weddings. Whether it's birthday parties, anniversaries, or even corporate events, you can have a good time and still be sustainable. When we come back, we're going to explore what ecotourism really means and see how Costa Rica's leading the way.